Yo, what is going on guys? I know I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but you guys have been spamming me in the comments saying, Breck, make another tips and tricks video. How do you get this? How do you get that? So today I want to talk about the perfect sensitivity because I've seen how many people have been asking about uh, sensitivity. So questions like, Breck, and... Uh I have your sensitivity, but it's not good for me. What am I supposed to do? How did you find your sensitivity? Can you please explain how I can get better aim, etc., etc.? So today I'll do that, and otherwise, there is nothing else to say. So let's get right into the video. Alright, guys, so the first thing that I want to show you guys has to do with your horizontal, vertical, and your ADS speed, alright? So these things work together. So one thing that I want to show you guys is if you go to options, and the controls so here you guys can see how uh, my sensitivity looks like I bet you guys already know how it, uh, what it is but if I change my so the only thing that I'm gonna change now is my horizontal speed so this is just uh, an example I want to show you guys how this works so I will only turn down my horizontal speed nothing else ADS is still the same and you saw how fast it was before so now look how slow my oh my god look how slow my uh, horizontal speed is right I'm pulling all the way to the right all the way to the left so now when I aim in you guys would think bro I still have 50 ADS nothing changed no that is not the case you guys can see how slow my vertical uh, my horizontal speed is right but it's still on 50 and my, but my vertical is still the same as before because I did not change it. So right now, only my horizontal speed has changed. And look how slow it is in ADS. So I want to uh, the thing that I want to tell you guys is they work together. So your horizontal and vertical speed works together with your ADS speed. So uh, I'll show you guys a little example. Uh, I mean another example. If you go. Uh, to horizontal speed and put it all the way up right before it was a one you saw how slow it was right and now i will turn this all the way down but it, my ads is still 50 i still didn't change anything so now you see how fast my horizontal is and how slow my vertical is right so now if wow it's so hard to control so now if i aim in i go up look how slow my vertical sensitivity is right but look how fast my uh, horizontal speed is while aiming in right but I still didn't change anything so the thing that I'm trying to tell you guys again they work together so that's why I would very much uh, uh, recommend you guys to put uh, your vertical uh, speed lower than uh, your ADS or horizontal like you can even put this down to 25 20 whatever you guys prefer right so it makes it a lot easier to control recoil. So the thing is, you will have slower vertical speed, so it's easier to you know, control your recoil, but you can still flick on people because you have the horizontal speed. And you will only need a good, like high horizontal speed to flick on people because you don't, you're not going to flick up. I mean, that's very rare, especially in rainbow. So you will most likely flick to the side and that's how you do it. So put your horizontal speed up so you can flick more, but put your vertical sensitivity down so you guys can control your recoil a lot better so uh, that is one tip for you guys all right so the next tip that i want to give you guys has to do with just shooting random stuff that you see around the map so let's say you are in the preparation phase right just run around the map and just shoot anything like a vase uh bottles or even just like aim at a particular spot you just look at it and then you just shoot at it and try to hit it with a nice little flick uh, so when you're in preparation phase, just do whatever you want. Just like shoot around, shoot things that uh, are just laying around, but just be sure not to shoot your teammates, of course. And I have seen a lot of good, like a lot of players that are level 300 plus, you know, play ESL every time. They do that as well, and I found that very interesting. That's why I'm putting this in this video. I also do that a lot if you watch my streams. I just run around, shoot random things, and I feel like that improves your aim because, I mean, you're just aiming around, shooting stuff, right? So I feel like that improves your aim as well. So that is one tip that I don't see a lot of YouTubers saying and I find that a very good tip because you can just run around flick on th uh, stuff and once you 
re like you'll see how much better you're get you're gonna get at like flicking at stuff and just hitting your shots and i feel like that improves your aim you, you think like break that's so silly but trust me that actually helped me getting better aim i just walk around shoot stuff and it, it will get your you know aim up because yeah as I explained before, it works because you're just shooting random stuff, you're flicking on things, and that's like that small movement is most of the time very, very important in a Rainbow Six Siege since we don't have any aim assist. That's why I find it a very important point. All right, guys, so finally we have reached a part of the video where people are gonna be like, Breck, I already know this, bro. Why are you telling us this? But trust me guys, a terrorist hunt is one of the best things, uh, you know, to do to improve your aim. Uh, but the next time you go into terrorist hunt, I don't want you guys to pick a normal gun or anything like that. I want you guys to pick a DMR. It's an automatic sniper. So what you're going to do with that is just go for those one taps. So one shot headshots are, you know, the things that win you gunfights in... Uh, in siege uh, there's nothing else to say i mean that's why i want you guys to concentrate on those headshots and to get those one shot headshots because those will win you gunfights and believe it or not that movement that you're gonna get used to in terrorist hunt will definitely transfer over to your ranked gameplay or to your casual or whatever you guys want to get good at so if you guys are gonna only go for those headshots your muscle memory and your brain and everything together will just work to get those headshots and you won't get as many body shots like you used to get you know so that's why i want you guys to go for those headshots and just get those clean one taps all right so the last tip i want to give you guys is to get control freaks and i know some people don't like control freaks i know a lot of good players that don't need control freaks at all but for me uh, I used to struggle a lot to get good aim in the beginning, so uh, I thought about getting control freaks because I heard so many good things about them. So I, you know, got a pair and they were amazing. Like I improved so much. But uh, lately, people have also been asking me, like Breck, have you changed your sensitivity or you move different or like what did you do? What did you change? And I was like, uh, yeah, I did not change anything on my settings. Or anything like that i just switched my control freaks so i used to have domed control freaks uh, the highest ones possible and i used to hate concave uh, uh, control freaks but now uh, i got the concaved control freaks and trust me guys those are amazing for me at least i don't know about you guys but uh i used to have very short uh, concave sticks and they were bad like i did not like them at all so uh that's why i switched over to the domed uh, control freaks and uh, i've seen a lot of like uh, hand cams on youtube of uh, youtubers and i've seen that a lot of them use the concaved uh control freak so i was like ah whatever let me try them out so i ordered them and they are amazing uh, i feel like they've improved my aim a little bit i can't really tell though but they feel a lot more comfortable in my hand so if you guys uh like the domed ones that's also perfectly fine it's all up to personal preference but that was like just a little tip uh, if you guys wanted to like uh, get some additional you know stuff on your controller i know some people don't want that or need that but i just wanted to put that in the video as well and that is it uh, and also i think that's it for the video so i hopefully this these tips have uh, you know helped you guys if not i am sorry but for most of the people it will definitely improve your aim and it will also help you find your sensitivity because that is the whole point of the video so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and it was helpful if it was please leave a like and subscribe for more uh, awesome content you know what it is and i will see you guys later goodbye they got four eliminated uh, oh the 4k